Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back. I don't know if you noticed that I was gone because I did pre-film some videos before I left so that it wouldn't appear that I was gone. I never like to let people know when I'm not at home just for safety reasons. But now that I'm back, I want to tell you a little bit about my vacation. I took a family vacation and we went with extended family. We went with a sister-in-law, brother-in-law, and their kids, and one of them is Sadie, who you've seen here on this channel. And then we also went with my husband's parents. We went to Big Sky, Montana, and stayed at the resort there. And then we did travel around to some various locations, including West Yellowstone, and then also to Norris Hot Springs, and to Yellowstone National Park. And so we not only experienced things at the resort itself, but then we also traveled to those other locations as well. So I do plan on showing you some actual vacation footage of things like zip lining, going up the lift, the view on top of the lift at Big Sky, and then also a rafting trip and a hot springs trip. And I will show you some Yellowstone footage. In fact, I posted some Yellowstone bear footage this morning, but I'm gonna keep that in its own separate video. The way the national park system works, and if anybody out there who is a YouTuber didn't know this, but you have to get a permit if you're going to make any money off of any sort of footage that you take at a national park. And so all of my Yellowstone National Park footage will be in its own video or videos and will not be monetized. And so I just wanna let you know that that is why those bits of the vacation will be kept completely separate from the rest. They don't care if you make $15, which probably I would make even less than that on my Yellowstone footage. Or if you make thousands of dollars, they want a piece of it. And the permit was like $500. So I just am going to keep the Yellowstone National Park footage completely separate from my shopping footage and then all of the other activities that we did while we were on vacation. But today is going to be a shopping footage from Big Sky, Montana, from the resort itself and the town of Big Sky, Montana, and then also from West Yellowstone, another town that we visited. We went to West Yellowstone to go to the Grizzly and Bear Rescue, and I'll have some footage of that coming up. And then we also went to a museum that they had there as well. But today is all focused on shopping and then what I did pick up. And I did pick up a couple of these things in Yellowstone itself. So I'm gonna show you those in this video, but I did not film the shopping while I was there for the reasons I already mentioned. So let's get into the shopping. And if you stick around till the end or fast forward to the end, I will show you what I got. My room is a bit of a mess, but I am getting ready to head out to go down to Big Sky and do a little bit of shopping. And I'm sporting my Prada Reedition 2005 which is in the Cameo Beige shade. And so far I've been doing my multi pochette accessoire, but when I looked outside, it looks a little bit cloudy. And with the Viquetta on that multi pochette, I'm a little bit nervous to get water spots on it, but you can see we have a great view from our room here. It is absolutely beautiful, green outside here at Big Sky Resort in Montana. So over and out, I'm heading down to do some shopping, I think, and I will check back so with you So I am in a store called East Slope Outdoors, and I have honed in on these gorgeous jackets by Scully. Now these are like $200-ish, and those two are suede. And then I found this super cool one. It looks like denim, but it's actually sheep leather. And I think I may just have to try this on. Look at the little silver detailing on the edges. I mean, this is just a work of art. And I'm normally just a handbag girl and don't really spend a lot on fashion, but for 200 bucks for a sheep leather jacket like that, that is incredible. So I took off my pink plaid, which is down there with my coffee from Cowboy Coffee. And so I just have a tank top, but I think I would still have enough room to fit that plaid layer underneath. It's just, it would hang out down here at the bottom. But again, this is like super luxurious. And for a leather jacket, I think it's $219. It's just a really good deal. Now they, 
They don't have a website here for this store. This is something you would have to come to Big Sky Montana to buy unless you just went to the Schooly website directly. And I think the prices there are the same as what they have here at the store. It is so beautiful here. I love how they have the lights crisscrossing at night. It looks so pretty. I got my coffee from the Cowboy Coffee Company, heavy cream and a regular drip, and it is delicious. I'm gonna walk down the road and see what else I can find, but I do wanna go into this Montana supply store at 10. I'm gonna head open. into Faherty, and again, the place I was looking at the jackets is right there. It's East Slope Outdoors. So inside of Faherty, is that how you say it? Yeah. Faraday, okay, I was totally botching that. But inside of Faraday, they have super soft fabrics. And this one here is a collaboration with a gentleman whose last name is Goodfeather. And it is so stinking soft and just beautiful. It's a, it's a shacket, but oh my goodness, the fabric feels amazing. And the layout of the store is so nice. They have the cutest little kids clothes as well. So this is their sales section and I am seeing such pretty shades. This is the women's area and you can find them online too. And again, the brand is right there, but I'm loving this purple top. In fact, I think I'm going to try it on. I love this color and the fabric feels amazing, but I had to go up to a medium to get it comfortable under my armpit. So I'm just not sure on how wide it is. So here it is with the half tuck. Makes it better, but I don't know that it's the most flattering on me. So I am at a store called Rhinestone Cowgirl. Is that right? Yep. And they have so much leather. It just smells delicious in here. And I'm currently trying on a pair of shoes, walking around the store. I'm walking towards a mirror so I can show you what they look like. But they have some really cute clothes and hats, belts. The stores down here at Big Sky are just the cutest and have the most unique things. A lot of Western wear, but a lot of fun stuff too. I mean, look at the colors. So many fun colors. So here are the shoes I'm trying on. They're kind of like a camo leather. And on the right foot, I have a sock. And on the left foot, I've got like not a sock. The heel is hurting me on the left one. So I think I would need something to cover up my heel some sort of a no-show with a higher back but these are really cute they're leather and they're they're 148 dollars so the brand on those shoes is Kofi and they just have a lot of really cute unique styles here heading across to Montana supply to check and see what they have Again, I was just at this really cute store, the Rhinestone Cow The store is a little bit sportier and they do have things like luggage. They even have socks I just saw, chairs, just the gamut. I'm heading back to the women's section. I am loving this earthy toned top by Thread and Supply. Oh, it's so soft and it's $78, which isn't too bad. I may have to restrain myself though because I have so many gorgeous jackets, but I don't know. That is really cute. Let me grab my coffee and continue. I do like that brand, Thread and Supply, a lot. And look, even bags, they have bags. This is actually a really cool duffel. It's by a brand called Filson. Looks like it's based out of Seattle and it has like leather wrapped around it and then they also have more of like a man style work bag that bag up there is really cute that says montana i like how it has all those feet on the bottom you just don't see those touches very often in like a double style bag yeah. got more shackets here this is a really pretty neutral one again it's thread and supply i like that this one really reminds me of the one at Ferdy that we just saw, but I think it's probably a fair amount cheaper because it's not that good fellow brand. Yes, it looks like these are all pretty consistently, like $78. I absolutely love all the outerwear, but I have so many beautiful outerwear pieces that I really don't need. Something similar to what I already have, but I think I may head back over to the first store I went into and pick something up. 
now that I've kind of seen what they have available here downtown. Big Sky Shopping is definitely fun for a lady like myself. Like loving this print, that's really cute. Looks like it has like mountain lions on it or something. And that's a different brand, it's called Rails. Here is the outdoorsy bag section with some little pouches and things by a brand called Topo Designs. And I'm gonna just go around the sides. There's some bum bags, a really cool large tote bag, and that's, I'm not sure what kind of bag that is at the top. So I have a plaid shirt to put on later, but my outfit of the day is this green Zegu top. I think this might be the first time I've worn the green one. I have two green ones, but one is emerald and then the other one is this army green, which I think goes really nicely with my multi pochette accessoire and the khaki strap. And then I have it paired with some Hey Dude Polly's. These offer a little more support than the Wendy's and they're also somewhat waterproof and they have like a a leather-like exterior. I don't know if it's real leather or not, but they're great. So that's the outfit of my day. A candy store here in West Yellowstone, and she just pulled out a tray of something special for me. They have sugar-free almond bar here with white chocolate. There are so many unique items here in West Yellowstone. I just walked into a little shop. There are so many fun little shops. Huckleberry lotion, Huckleberry jam, Huckleberry chapstick. Huckleberry is a thing here in this town, and hence the color lavender. This jacket is by Pendleton, and I swear I've heard of this brand before. Super soft. It's expensive. 219 bucks out. I love this leather pillow here. That is so cool. I, I mean, look at all the tags. They made it out of like denim tags from like jeans or pants or whatever. Super cool. And that elk pillow there is really cool too. Or no, that's a moose. Sadie picked up a new handbag and it is a brand called Thread. Yeah. Very, very cool. Like corduroy design it has and her. if you're wondering, this did not come with it. Oh, it, but it's your initial and rose gold. Yep. And I and love then, how it has the thread written into the canvas strap. So if you zip it open, there's this little space right here. And then there's a back pocket right here. Back pocket for your phone. Yeah. So here are some of the other choices. Super cute. All different patterns and styles and these really nice little chest packs or backpacks as well. I've seen all different sorts of things. This is a brand called Eurosport. And since we're in Yellowstone, I thought this Bigfoot bag was pretty cool. This one's even cooler. And I do think the handles are leather. They feel, they feel really good actually. All right, now I get to show you the spoils of my, what are the, what is the word for that? The spoils of my, hmm search. I don't know. I can't think of the word. You guys are going to have to help me out in the comments. What do you say when you're talking about what you found after you had your adventure? The spoils of your blah. I don't know. But the first thing is, as you all I'm sure would have guessed, I did pick up this sheepskin leather jacket. It looks just like denim. It's crazy. And I did look online to see if I could find some more of this brand, the Scully brand. It's got a silver metallic right here, and I don't know how well that will wear over time because metallic leather doesn't tend to wear super well. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay. Sit down. Sit down. Metallic leather doesn't tend to wear super well over time, but since the whole thing's like a, a jean look, hopefully it's okay if it does get a little bit of wear. But this leather is not heavy. It's sheepskin. It's super soft and it smells delicious. And I think this was $219. But when I was searching online, I found it for $174 online at a different website and they had several of this brand's jackets on sale. And I wear a medium in this jacket. So if it's something you're into, I will try to post that link down in the description box. But I think this jacket is just adorable. And of course you will have seen me try it on in the store. So I'm gonna just leave the try on session 
for you to look at there as opposed to me trying it on right now because I have several things to show you. The hotel we were staying at was sort of a condo-like thing and it was called the Shoshone and it was up at the Big Sky Resort and they had a gift shop down on the main level dangerously close to the elevator that I took to go up to my room and I kept walking by it. They had a rack that was 75% off and so I did pick up this beautiful hooded, I don't know if you call sweatshirt beautiful, but I love the colors in this. It's got like a peachy color with like a taupe and this is by a brand called Ugg. And normally I don't spend a lot of money on my clothes. I save that for my handbags, but this sweatshirt is so super soft and it was 75% off. So while normally $98, it was like $24.50 and I couldn't pass it up. It is really, really warm. And so I can't wear it right now, but it'll be a fun thing to pull out this winter time. I have to get my glasses out for this next one because I need to read the brand. All of the sale clothes at this little gift shop seemed like they were either really small or really big. And there were a couple of smalls. That Ugg is a small. And then these pants are a brand called Anatomy. And they're like just a jogger style pant. And I love how they have these cute little back pockets on them. And they're a size small, they're high waisted. And they have a cuff at the bottom. And I absolutely love navy joggers. I have one pair and I wear them all the time. And these were normally $168, which is insane for a pair of joggers. A lot of my joggers are by Zella, a Nordstrom brand, or by Z Supply. And these were 75% off, so they were around $42, which is a steal, in my opinion, for a brand that's so expensive. They kind of remind me of a jogger brand called Vuori. And the reason I say that is because they are so soft, but they are a little bit more expensive than Vuori when it comes to the retail price. I just happened to pick these up for an absolute steal. Now those two items are probably not as exciting as the leather jacket. The next thing I wanna show you is this necklace. So I picked up this necklace in Yellowstone and it is a brand called BGM. I found them online. They are out of New Mexico and they do all sorts of these inlaid type designs. This one has a wood piece a mother of pearl piece and a turquoise piece. And I liked it because it reminded me of Prism Lake at Yellowstone. It's set in sterling silver and I'm wearing like a, not a turquoise, but like a mint color top to bring out the turquoise stone in it today. But this is set in a sterling silver and it reminded me of Prism Lake. We didn't get a visit Prism Lake because it was overcast and the guy we were with told us we wouldn't be able to see anything there because all we would be able to see was the steam coming off the lake. But we did get to go to another area, which I'll show you in a future video, where we got to see tons of different beautiful colors. And so this is my souvenir to remind me of that alternative stop we took as opposed to going to Prism Lake. There are three pictures that I picked up also in Yellowstone at the Visitor Center. This was picked up in a beautiful gift store in a log hotel near Old Faithful. But I found this artist at the Visitor Center, and this is the Visitor Center right next to Old Faithful, and her name is Carol Hagen. And she made this art in Montana. She's from Nebraska, but has spent a lot of her life in Montana. And this art is Montana made, which I think is cool because I don't like to go places where I buy souvenirs and they're from China. Although probably some of the clothes I just showed you are from China, but in terms of art and things like that, I would prefer it to be made in that area. So we have a couple of properties that are sort of rustic that we rent out and we decorate them in rustic type artwork. And I just loved Carol's artwork. It's so hard to show you with the ring light, but this is painted on top of this metal. And then each piece is signed by her on the back. And I just thought it was super cool. So I got the bear and I got the elk and they do have like metallic paint on them. I don't know if you can see that, but I just think that they are absolutely stunning and I plan to frame them in a very rustic like frame and 
put them in a cluster of three. This is the third and the final piece of Carol's work that I picked up, and it is a buffalo with a night sky, and it is just stunning. This one was 90 and the other two were 105, and I kind of feel like the other two are a better deal because they're so much bigger, but I'll just put a thick wood frame on this and perhaps maybe a slightly thinner one on the other two, and then I'll cluster them together in a group of three on the wall somewhere in one of our cabins. We did also take a float trip, and before we went on the float trip, I realized that I had forgot my water shoes, which are a pair of Tevas that I've had since I was like, I don't know, 20 years old. So they needed to be replaced and I forgot them. So I ended up going to one of the stores up at Big Sky and I picked up some sorrels. These are kind of cool and they're really comfortable. They have like a meshy nylon sort of piece here in the middle. And I'm not sure if the rest of the sandal itself is leather or not because she didn't give me the box when I checked out, but it feels like leather to me. And these are very comfortable, very cute. They did dye my heels black, which I don't love, but they will be great for years to come. And since I kept my Tevas for like 25 years, probably will keep these for that long too. Although I may wear them to the pool because all of my new bathing suits by Ann Cole have a little bit of black in them. So these are gonna be perfect pool shoes where I won't slip and fall. A few of the more rustic things that we picked up included this wind chime that was hand carved by a gentleman who used to live in Montana and has recently moved to the Ozarks. But this gentleman did a bunch of beautiful work and this one was made while he was still in Montana. We just thought it was really neat and planned to hang it at the cabin where I will probably hang the art that I just showed you. My husband picked up some placemats and I think these are pretty cool. We have a little table in the cabin and it has four spots. And I don't know if we'll necessarily eat on these, but we thought they'd be cool decor for the table. And then the last thing is a long and narrow rug and it's folded a couple times. I can't show you the whole thing here, but it's like woven and it will look super cool in the hallway going back to the bedrooms. So that is my shopping. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.